Happy Monday, ESM. To all you lifters out there, get ready because today's show is on the world's largest dumbbell. More on this after news. Today, a Russian soldier was sentenced to life in prison for killing an unarmed Ukrainian civilian in the first war crimes trial since the beginning of the invasion three months ago. The verdict caps days of proceedings in a Kiev courtroom and could set the stage for other pr prosecutions for alleged atrocities committed by Russian forces. Sergeant Vadim Shizemurden, 21, pleaded guilty to violating the laws and customs of war under a section of the Ukrainian Criminal Code after he admitted to shooting an unarmed 62-year-old man in the head during the early days of the war. The case drew intentional atten international attention and mounting allegations of war crimes committed by Russian forces, some of which have been documented by international human rights organizations. Late Saturday night and early Sunday morning, two men were injured within four hours of each other. The first was a 36-year-old man with stab wounds on his back. Syracuse Police Department responded to the stabbing at 10.59 p.m. on Saturday. The man was taken to Upstate University Hospital where, is he, where he is expected to survive. The second happened to a 22-year-old man who was shot in the foot. He appeared at Upstate University Hospital around 2 a.m. There is no further information on either of these cases. Consumers of Jif peanut butter should check their pantries following a recall on certain products. According to the Food and Drug Administration and the Centers for Disease Control, Jif's creamy, crunchy, natural, and reduced fat peanut butters have been linked to salmonella, to a salmonella outbreak spanning a dozen states that's left 14 people sick, two of which were hospitalized. The J.M. Smucker Company announced a voluntary recall Friday of some Jif peanut butter products for potential for potential salmonella contamination. The products were distributed nationwide in retail stores and other outlets. Jars with lot codes 1274425 and 2140525, which can be found next to the best if used date, which should be disposed of. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands one nation under God indivisible with liberty and justice for all the morning weight room will be closed on Wednesday May 25th please see coach Ash if you have any questions please help Noah's care bags achieve its goal to help parents and guardians who are staying with their child in a children's hospital to take care of themselves and to keep a family together we provide toiletries to meet their physical needs, a candy bar to remind them to eat, and a positive quote and message for emotional support. Drop off at our collection bin in the high school lobby through May 26th or donate online at noahscarebags.com. For a little background on this ginormous dumbbell, it was made locally in East Syracuse in 2007 by D.N. Gannon Fabricating Inc. And there's the dumbbell right there. So this dumbbell in the picture weighs 451 pounds. It was originally made for lifter Wyatt Lozano, who is from Syracuse, and it originally weighed 315 pounds, representing the 315 area code for Syracuse. And today he lifted one that was 413 pounds. And he was brave enough to try this ginormous dumbbell. mostly cloudy. Tomorrow is still going to be partly cloudy but it's going to warm up a bit. Now on to our seven day forecast. Today we'll have a high of 64 degrees and a low of 45 degrees. Tomorrow we have a high of 74 degrees and a low of 54 degrees and I'm Paige with your weather.
I went down to the weight room and talked to Coach Eschbacher about different types of lifts you can do every day. So this lifter is doing a regular squat and the key to doing a squat is keeping your knees out and butt back. Right here he's doing a clean and jerk, a great exercise that works many muscles in your body such as glutes, hamstrings, and triceps. Right here he's doing an incline bench press with 50 pounds. Here Ty Lahr is doing a squat, being spotted by Coach Esch. You can see he's keeping his knees out and butt back. Then here we have deadlifts, another great exercise for any sport. And you can see he has resistance bands on it, which makes it a little bit harder. baseball team finished off their season with a win against Central Square 6-1 and a loss against Oswego 8-7. In the first game, Trey Bova gave the team two runs while Jacob Pacheco, Daniel Gilkey, AJ Graham, and Kevin Stewart all had run one run each. Carter Stewart had four strikeouts on the game. In the second game, although they lost, Dylan Clark had the first and only home run of the season, having a good end to his senior season. The Golden State Warriors took a commanding 3-0 lead on the Dallas Mavericks after winning game 3-109-100. The Miami Heat took Game 3 109-103 and took a 2-1 lead on the Boston Celtics. Justin Thomas overcame a 7-shot lead during the 4th round of the PGA Championship, beating Will Zalatoris in a 3-hole playoff, and Thomas won his second PGA Championship. Thomas' 7-shot comeback is the 3rd largest in Majors history. And I'm Tanner, with your sports. It's it crazy that the dumbbell Lozano lifted was 413 pounds. And to give you an example of other things that are 413 pounds, that is three beer kegs, a zebra, and a large ape. So imagine curling a large ape. I just, I can't get over that. On that note, I hope you enjoyed learning about the world's largest dumbbell and some different lifts that you can do in the weight room. From me and everyone here at The Morning Show, have a great Monday.